Have you ever considered building a 16 core computer? That's exactly what I'm going to talk in this video. Hi guys, I'm Sada Maladi. In this video, we are going to talk about how you would build a mini cluster using Orange Pi boards. Orange Pi boards are inexpensive, very powerful next generation uh, server gate platform, quad core 64 bit ARM processors. This is going to be a multi part series. In the first part, we are going to build the tower, and later we will experiment with cloud orchestration like Docker Swarm and Kubernetes. What can you do with this mini cluster? Well, I personally use it to run some engineering experiments, but obviously you can store photos, videos, and share across your network. But you can also run Spark ML jobs, some robotics experiments, and I'm sure you guys will figure out a lot of different use cases once we have the cluster up and running. Let's look at what you need to get started. I made a Amazon list for easy access. The first thing you need to build this tower is the cluster case itself. And here I have my gigabit ethernet switch. This is a four port USB power hub to power all the orange pies four orange pies and of course you micro USB cables, Ethernet cables and micro SD cards for operating system. Once you assembled the tower, now let's get started with installing the software. In order for you to install, go ahead and download the SD card formatter software and Apple Pie Baker and also download the Ubuntu Bionic image for Orange Pi. Once you've inserted the SD card into the Mac, you would see a dialog like this. Let's go ahead and ignore it. Launch SD card formatter to image the disk. The second step is to install the operating system onto the SD card. We do that by using Apple Pie Baker. I already have Ubuntu Bionic 5.1.15 image downloaded onto the Mac. There you go, the image is already loaded onto the SD card. Now let's eject the SD card and uh, power on the orange pipe. So while we wait for the orange pie to come up, let's look at my setup here. As you can see, my tower is already assembled and one of the orange pie is actually connected to the ethernet port and the tower is directly connected to my router. The router is configured with 192.168.0.0 slash 24 subnet. All of these orange pies will get static IP addresses. This will be named docker1 docker2, docker3, docker4 and the IP address would be 100, 101, 102, 103. All right, looks like Orange Pi is online. Let's connect to it and configure it. There you go. You can see that Orange Pi is online 
now that orange pi is online we will configure a password a host name and change its IP address to 100 The default password for orange pie is 1234. I will create a user called pi. For now let's leave all of these defaults. Now that user pi is created, let's connect to this uh, device using pi as a user. You can use a tool called ambien config to configure the IP address and the host name. I'm going to configure the host name first. We will name this device Docker one. Just be aware that when I change the IP address, the network connection to the Orange Pi will be lost. I'm going to use a different terminal to connect to the same orange Pi on the new IP address. Excellent. The new orange Pi is properly configured with the host name, the IP address. The next step is optional. I normally like to uh, copy my public key uh, for easier SSH access. You can use the SSH copy command so that you don't need to enter the password every time. Awesome. Let's try uh, connecting. It should not ask any password. Awesome. The next step is let's configure docker on this orange pi. I have a little cheat sheet here. I'm going to copy the commands. This process will take some time. So I'm going to speed up the video. There you go. So docker is properly installed. Now let's install docker compose. Docker Compose is properly installed. Now we will download a sample application from my Git repo. Okay. This is a Node application front-ended by a HAProxy load balancer. I'm going to do a pull first and then up because pull is going to take some time. I will speed up the video. Now that the Docker images are downloaded, let's bring them up.
our application is currently running you can check the status by running the docker compose ps commands there is a ha proxy and a node you can also run docker ps you can see that the web app node application is running and a ha proxy let's run some sample commands There you go. The application is returning the instance ID which is same as the instance ID of the application. Now let's scale up the node application. You can see that we have uh, three node applications running and uh, <coughs> one HA proxy. Let's do a Docker PS. There you go. So we have uh, three node containers running. Let's run our sample uh, API call. Let's keep running and then you will actually see that the HA proxy is working very well because I have set the rules to do a round robin. You can see that HA proxy is doing very good. One last quick test that we can do is we can run some uh, benchmarking using uh, Apache Bench. I've already installed uh, Apache Bench. It's part of uh, Apache Utils. Let me just run. So we will be running the API uh, 10,000 times using uh, 30 concurrent connections. And uh, I'm running a htop command on the top. You will see that all four cores are uh, heavily utilized while the requests are going on. So there you go friends, uh, so that's how we have uh, configured one uh, orange pie. The next steps are configure three more SD cards properly and then power on your cluster completely. So in this uh, video we talked about how to assemble a four node orange pie cluster. How would you provision your SD card with Ubuntu image and uh, installation of Docker and we ran some sample applications. In the next video I'm going to talk about uh, how to configure this cluster as a Docker Swarm uh, cluster. Until then uh, stay safe and thank you so much for watching this video.